Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel, Rich and Lux. Today I wanted to share with you what I got for Valentine's Day. I just wanted to share what I got. I just hope though that me doing all these unboxings is not really to brag or flex or anything, but I just wanted to share my journey to where starting to collect my luxury items took me a little while. It's some kind of delayed gratification, so Please don't take it the wrong way. Uh, I know I do unboxings and a lot of it recently because I've just started my luxury journey and I just want to get all those you know, basic luxury things that most of you probably already have and I've waited 20 something years you know to get to this point so I this is just about my excitement and wanted to share and hopefully inspire other people to you know um, delay gratification certainly gets more special when when you are at a point where you can pretty much get what you want but you know sacrifice for a long time but that's why recently I've just been just getting all these luxury things because I think it's kind of like a pent-up desire where Pandora's box opened and I just can't stop <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys don't take it to where I just want to brag all the time or, you know, show off. But just to inspire and to let people know that there will come a time, depending on all your priorities, there will come a time that you'll get those nice things, nicer things in life that you've always wanted. So that's all I wanted to say. And belated happy Valentine's Day to everyone, first of all. Today is day after valentine so i just wanted to share with you some things that i got from my husband is a louis vuitton item and um, if you follow my instagram rich and lux that's my handle you probably have an idea we've gotten this like two weeks ago uh, he bought it for me and i got i asked this from him so this is what he got me you probably already know what it is by the looks of the packaging so I got from him a Louis Vuitton perfume. I'm sorry, you hear jingles in the background. That's my Harvey miniature schnauzer just behind my feet, which he always does when I work from home. So I got the California Dream. Oh, I got a box that's kind of dented yeah so i got this i sampled it one of the trips to the store and i loved it um so i asked my husband to get it for me for valentine's and i just got him a simple shirt because he doesn't really like luxury or anything nice he's more of a utility utility type style and very casual so but i get all the the lux i guess so yeah so let us open this i didn't get the nice uh, paper bag that usually comes with it though um they probably ran out already but it's okay as long as i have the thing inside i'm, I'm fine with it so here it is I've been really patient and again delayed gratification waiting for this to unbox this but I waited so that I can share it with you guys so here it is it's this I always see this California sunset color I remember I took a picture once sunset um, it looks like this color like a cotton candy color actually probably insert it here if I find that picture I took I don't know, like three, four years ago. But yeah, that's probably why they call it California Dream because I think that's what they based it off of is the California sunset color. But here it is. So this is the most expensive perfume I've had so far. And here it is, guys. So if you could, I don't know if you can tell the, the blue and uh, pink gradient here it's not it's you could 
I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, there's a little bit of blue hue on the top. But this is so lovely. Mm, and it smells so good. I love the smell. Oh, yes. It kind of is similar to... I don't know if you are um, probably are familiar with the Dolce & Gabbana light blue but this is this is much better and it just reminds me of the California you know sunset so yeah and I love the bottle it is actually magnetic and if you have if you don't already know they actually do refills so that's a good thing for me because I'm into you know environment and just less carbon footprint I guess you know I mean this is bottle but you use less waste I guess by being able to refill right there we go this is so lovely of course the LV insignia there um, logo in the bottle it's the 100 ml so it was 265 i believe so yes this is what i got mostly from my husband for valentine's and what i got for myself though is but yeah i got this i've been wanting to get a burberry scarf classic check right there with a little bit of kind of caramel kind of copper bronze lining all over so I loved it so I just okay let me just take that so yeah this one is of course made in England oh actually it's made in Italy yeah it's made in Italy and the fabric is let's see what the fabric because I think you said cotton and silk. So it's a little bit on the cheaper side. I only got this for 250 right there. I love this because now I have a vintage, like you're not vintage, but classic um, scarf from Burberry. And along with that, I got this nice, 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 nice trench coat. But I'm probably gonna do um, a little bit of um, mod shots later. So yeah, I got this. It's really nice with the classic check lining, but not all throughout the coat. It's just lining here with the black. I believe this is I'm not sure what fabric that is, but this is about 75% wool. Uh, I wish it was cashmere, but this is good considering the price that I got it. So it used to be $10.95 in here. And I got it for says $800, but when I was paying it at the register, it was actually $600, so I got a good deal on this one. And I love the fit. It's really structured. And it says that one right there. So it says Burberry. So that those little touches and all the Burberry all throughout the buttons right there. Okay, so that's what I got for Valentine's Day. So... This one kind of matches the coat, so I, lo I love it. So I have an outfit, and of course this one, it just smells so good, guys. So yeah, that's all I wanted to share for Valentine's. How about you guys? What did you guys get for, you know, Valentine's Day? Uh, we usually actually don't celebrate Valentine's, but, you know, just little things here and there, I guess. Kind of made it a little special. And we just had to go take some takeout from one of the restaurants here in the area. So, and ate at home and just, you know, a chill dinner. 
And that's it, guys. Um, hope you could share in the comments below what you got for Valentine's Day as well. I, for me, I just wanted this. It was like my wish for Valentine's from my husband. I'm happy. I'm very, very happy about what I got. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please um, click that subscribe button and hit the like button as well if you like this video and hopefully you can also hit that notification bell so if we have more unboxings and luxury hauls then you can get notified all right thank you for watching again and have a good day bye